It says it's Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again. The universe is so big, which I cannot even conceive in my mind, that yes, there are other possibilities of other Earth-like planets that have intelligent life. The head of NASA has just revealed something shocking. We can't ignore the signals from Voyager 2 any longer. The universe might be filled with more than just us, and this message from the depths of space has sparked a frenzy. What is hidden in this urgent message? Let us reveal why this message from Voyager the second of maybe the last warning for humankind. The Voyager probe's startling data. The universe is so infinite that it challenges our understanding, hinting that Earth might not be the only place with smart beings. The NASA chief recently stirred up the scientific community with a startling announcement. The data from the Voyager probe is no longer something to be ignored. This once controversial probe is now central to discussions as it appears to have found something groundbreaking, causing quite a stir among experts. Launched in 1977, the Voyager mission was a bold attempt by NASA to explore the outer planets more closely. Consisting of two identical probes, named Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, the mission was crafted quickly to take advantage of a rare alignment of planets. While Voyager 1 was tasked with observing Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 2 was sent further to look at Uranus and Neptune. This ambitious project, known initially as the Grand Tour, was expected to be a significant leap in space exploration, costing a whopping billion dollars. It promised to send back detailed reports from regions of space that no human-made object had ever reached. However, instead of simply confirming what we expected to learn, the messages from Voyager have deepened our confusions. It's as if the universe is testing us, presenting data that defies our existing knowledge. Recently, the NASA chief broke his silence and shared that the messages from Voyager were not at all what scientists expected. This revelation has sparked both excitement and a fair bit of doubt about what comes next for these probes. The Voyager's mission takes them beyond the familiar celestial bodies towards the mysteries of the outer solar system. Path through the planetary gates. So, what is actually happening with Voyager 2? What kind of alarming messages has it sent? And what do these messages mean? The experts who tried to interpret them faced a significant challenge. As we await more information, the destiny of Voyager 2 and its twin remains hotly debated. The updates suggest that there may be promising news about the probe's future, which keeps everyone on edge. The Voyager probes were particularly well-suited to take advantage of this opportunity. They were equipped with advanced technology that was way ahead of its time. Voyager 1, for example, was fitted with 16 hydrazine thrusters, sophisticated gyroscopes, a large 12-foot diameter antenna, three power generators that worked off the decay of radioactive material, and a highly advanced computer system that managed all these components. These tools were critical for the probe's long-term mission in the harsh conditions of outer space. Moreover, Voyager's communication technology was groundbreaking, the probes could send information back to Earth from billions of miles away, connecting with NASA's deep space network. This network allowed the probes to communicate with Earth across the immense distances of space. The fact that data from Voyager 1 now takes about 22 hours to reach Earth from deep space is incredible, considering the vastness of space and the technology of the time. As the Voyagers surpass expectations, they continue to relay unprecedented insights from the depths of space. The Celestial Explorations NASA's decision to use the planetary alignment for the Voyager mission shows a practical use of a natural occurrence. It was a strategic move to make the most out of this celestial setup. By launching the Voyagers during this alignment, NASA could efficiently use the gravity of the planets to catapult the probes further into space, faster, and using less fuel. This approach not only saved resources, but also allowed the probes to cover vast distances in a shorter amount of time. The technology on the Voyager probes was not just for show, it played essential roles that have kept the probes working for over 40 years. These roles ranged from navigation and stability in space 
to the collection and transmission of data back to Earth. Reflecting on this, the launch of the Voyager probes during the planetary alignment was a calculated and clever use of a natural window. While it might seem like NASA was just seizing a free ride, it was actually a well-planned mission that maximized the scientific return from the available celestial dynamics. This mission is a testament to human creativity and the ability to use our understanding of the universe to embark on far-reaching explorations. Thus, decades later, we continue to learn from the Voyager missions. They are a clear example of the potential of human ingenuity when combined with a deep understanding of natural phenomena. The Voyager probes not only explored unknown regions of space, but also demonstrated how far we can go when we cleverly use the opportunities that the cosmos offers. A new cosmic discovery was about to change everything. From the swirling skies of Jupiter to the cosmic shores beyond. In the late 1970s, astronomers observing space stumbled upon some interesting findings, thanks to NASA's Voyager 1. This spacecraft was equipped with very advanced cameras for that time, allowing NASA to make a film-like sequence of Jupiter. This film showed Jupiter's big, stormy atmosphere changing over 60 days. By February 1979, Voyager 1 had reached Jupiter, and by March, it started to explore Jupiter's moons. During this close look, Voyager 1 revealed the moon Io and its many volcanoes, which were active and spewing materials into space. After exploring Jupiter, Voyager 1 then set its course towards Saturn, arriving in November 1979 for a significant flyby. During its flyby of Saturn, Voyager 1 gathered and sent back detailed information about five of Saturn's moons and its complex system of rings. It took pictures of moons like Titan, Mimas, Enceladus, and Tethys. These photos provided clear views of features such as the thick and dense atmosphere surrounding Titan, which was intriguing to those studying the planets. After its mission around Saturn, Voyager 1 prepared to leave the vicinity of the known planets. It continued moving away at a speed of about 3.5 astronomical units each year. Before it completely left the solar system, Voyager 1 took a momentous photo in February 1990, capturing all the planets as seen from its location. This photo included a very distant view of Earth, which appeared as a tiny, delicate blue dot in the vastness of space, emphasizing our planet's small size and vulnerability. By 2004, Voyager 1 officially began its path out of our solar system, passing through the heliosphere. The heliosphere is like a huge bubble around our solar system, created by the sun's wind and magnetic fields. It protects our solar system by acting as a shield against cosmic radiation, this mission is a clear example of how human curiosity drives us to explore far beyond our home planet. It highlights the capabilities of our technology in space exploration and our desire to understand more about the universe. Voyager 1's path reminds us of the vastness of space and our relatively small place within it. As the Voyager 1 spacecraft transcends its earthly bounds, it becomes Earth's first line of defense against the mysteries of the cosmos. Guardians at the Cosmic Gate The Cosmos Shield acts as Earth's guardian by blocking harmful cosmic radiation that exists in space. When the Voyager 1 spacecraft went beyond its expected area of travel and into the interstellar medium, it was a major breakthrough. Initially, the data it sent back confused scientists because it didn't make sense. Over time, they realized these strange readings weren't errors. They were actually important discoveries from where Voyager 1 was now located. In the middle of 2012, some experts started thinking that Voyager 1 might be moving into new space. They noticed that the spacecraft was detecting fewer particles from the sun and more cosmic rays, which are particles from other parts of space. These changes were clues that Voyager 1 was leaving the area controlled by the sun and moving into the unknown space beyond. This area, called the interstellar medium, is filled with material from stars and is beyond the sun's influence. Voyager 1 used its equipment to record details about this transition, helping scientists understand what happens in this distant space. 
On August 25, 2012, NASA confirmed that Voyager 1 had entered the interstellar medium, marking a significant moment in our exploration of space. This achievement was impressive, but it also made scientists more aware of how much we don't know about space. Although we celebrated Voyager 1's entry into new space, this event showed us that there are many things about the universe that we are just beginning to explore. Each piece of data Voyager sends helps us learn a bit more, but it also highlights how much there is to discover. Scientists continue to study the information from Voyager 1 to gain insights into the interstellar medium. This knowledge is crucial because it helps us understand more about our cosmic surroundings and the processes happening in space that can affect Earth. Despite the progress, the vastness of space and the complexity of its processes remind us that our path to understand the universe is far from over. Every new finding is a small step in the broader quest to comprehend the vast cosmos we are a part of. When news of Voyager 1's adventures reached the scientific community, there was a buzz of excitement, almost too expected, like hearing the same old story. The spacecraft, once again, had grabbed everyone's attention by moving deeper into space. Exploring the edges of our own solar system was always a big challenge, but moving into interstellar space has been a dream for space scientists everywhere. This area, where our solar system ends, has always captured the imagination of those bold enough to think about what lies beyond. Interstellar space is a vast area between the stars that is far from empty. It is filled with different types of gas clouds, tiny particles, and a variety of space matter that goes beyond what we can easily imagine. For a long time, space scientists believed this area had harsh radiation and contained the materials needed to create new stars. Only when Voyager 1 ventured further did we start to see which of these ideas were true and which were not. We discovered that hydrogen gas, along with a mix of other cosmic gases, dark matter, neutrinos, and photons, is everywhere in this region. Voyager 1's path revealed unexpected wonders. Humanity's leap into the unknown. The most common elements, hydrogen and helium, were first created during the Big Bang. Voyager 1's trip helped us learn more about this as it moved closer to the heliosheath, the outer layer of the Sun's magnetic boundary. This boundary includes the termination shock, the heliosheath itself, and the heliopause, and it has shown to be dynamic, changing shape with the solar winds and the movements of interstellar gases. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space, it caused quite a stir in the science world. Although some might think calling this a record sounds too grand for just confirming what already exists. Since that significant moment, Voyager 1 has kept moving farther, collecting a vast amount of data. Expected to stop working by 2025, NASA's experts are working hard to get as much information as possible from this aging explorer eager to learn from its unexpected path into unknown space. Chris Riley, well known for his contributions to science communication, has said that Voyager 1's mission could be one of the greatest achievements of humanity, a testament to what we can achieve together, which might even outlast our own societal conflicts. Yet, while we celebrate this technological feat, there are still those who wonder if we might meet other forms of life out there. The idea that we are not alone in the universe has been a part of human thinking for thousands of second guessing. These ideas have appeared in ancient writings and modern stories, showing our long-standing curiosity about life beyond Earth. Therefore, while Voyager 1's is celebrated as a huge step for humankind, it also reflects our ongoing search for understanding and connection, not just through the cosmos, but also in understanding our own place within it. One has to ponder what else this small probe might reveal about the universe, and interestingly, about us as well. At the time, UFOs were causing a significant stir. Reports of strange flying objects and other unusual events were so frequent that many people started to seriously believe in aliens. This widespread interest pushed scientists to come up with innovative technologies and methods to search the skies for these hard-to-find beings. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope and different space probes have been sent out to closely examine planets near us, with scientists eagerly looking for any evidence of life. 
One of NASA's key missions has been to confirm whether extraterrestrial beings exist. Yet it's clear that NASA's efforts to find these beings have been greatly limited by the boundaries of existing technology. Many experts believe that as technology and space exploration gets better, it will be much easier to prove that there is life beyond Earth. However, the truth is that no space probe, except maybe Voyager 1, has traveled deep enough into space to directly search these far-off areas for signs of alien life. Therefore, if there's any tool from our space exploration arsenal that might eventually meet extraterrestrial beings, it's likely Voyager 1. But until then, the quest to discover life outside our planet is a slow and meticulous one, which can be frustrating for those who are eager for fast results. The work continues at a steady pace, yet the wait for definitive proof of extraterrestrial life seems endless to those longing for a breakthrough. When NASA launched the Voyager 1 spacecraft, they included a unique item called the Golden Record. This was a golden-coated disc filled with photos, sounds of animals, and messages in various languages, showcasing the diversity of life and culture on Earth. The goal was to give any space beings that might find this disc a clear picture of Earth. However, the idea that another civilization would find and understand this disc is quite far-fetched. Despite its mission to reach out into the universe, Voyager 1 has not made contact with any alien life so far. The future of the Voyager 1 spacecraft looks not good. It uses a special battery that gets power from the heat of breaking down radioactive material, called plutonium. At first, this battery was very strong, giving off 470 watts of power. But over many years, this power has gotten much weaker. By the year 2025, the spacecraft will run out of this energy, and then Voyager 1 will just drift in space, unable to talk to us or do any tasks. This shows the big gap between what we hope to do in space and what our technology can actually do. Space is so big that it's very unlikely Voyager 1 will meet other smart life. Early in its journey, to save power for very important tasks, NASA turned off many of Voyager 1's systems that use a lot of energy like the camera and some science tools. This helped the spacecraft last longer, but it didn't help it get closer to its main goal of finding life from other planets. Interstellar space brought new surprises. The silent odyssey of Voyager 1. Given the infinite of space and the limitations of our spacecraft, the chances of Voyager 1's message being received and understood by an alien civilization are minimal. Yet, the spacecraft carries detailed records of our planet's life and cultures, possibly never to be discovered. The mission of Voyager 1 reflects a deep-seated human desire to explore and communicate beyond our own planet. We have reached out into the unknown with hope, sending a vessel into the cosmic void to connect with others. However, the mission also teaches us about humility and the realities of space travel. The most sophisticated tools and intentions cannot overcome the sheer distances and challenges of space. Voyager 1, in its silent path through the cosmos, might ultimately serve as a reminder of our isolation in the vast universe. It is a symbol of our wish to find others in the vast universe, but also a sign of how alone we might actually be. Its path is a powerful demonstration of human aspiration and technological achievement Yet it also underscores the profound challenges we face in making contact with life beyond Earth. As we continue to monitor Voyager 1's progress, it becomes a lesson in both the potential and limits of space exploration. This spacecraft, possibly destined to float forever through the dark, empty space, carries the story of Earth far beyond its original confines. It represents our quest for knowledge and connection, but also the stark possibility that it may never fulfill its intended purpose. Voyagers Through Space is a bit like an old movie that keeps going long after you thought it would end. On board, there are a few instruments still working hard. The thrusters, magnetometers, a plasma wave subsystem, the cosmic ray subsystem, and the optical calibration target instruments are still functional. These devices are the last standing members of a team that was much bigger at the start. Why do these particular instruments matter? They are critical, 
because they help Voyager keep doing its job in space. The magnetometers, for example, detect magnetic fields around Voyager. This is important for understanding the space environment Voyager moves through. The low-energy charged particle instruments look at the energy coming from ions in space, giving scientists information about the space conditions far away from Earth. Then there's the cosmic ray subsystem, which watches the behavior of cosmic rays in space. Cosmic rays are high-energy particles that, when studied, help us understand more about space phenomena and the overall structure of the universe. It's a little surprising that these tools, built so many years ago, are still working. Remember, these tools were sent into space back when the technology was not nearly as advanced as today. The fact that they still function and provide valuable data to scientists back on Earth is quite impressive. The thrusters have a special role. They've been working for decades, helping Voyager move through space. These thrusters use the gravity of planets to help speed up and change direction without using much fuel. This method has helped Voyager travel far without running out of fuel, a crucial factor since there are no fuel stations in space. Both Voyager 1 and its partner, Voyager 2, were equipped from the start with shields to protect them against small space particles and harsh space radiation. This was a smart move by NASA, as it has helped the spacecraft survive the harsh conditions of space. NASA planned the path of Voyager so carefully that it has been able to use the gravity of planets to help it move faster and go further. This careful planning is one of the reasons why Voyager has been able to travel such a long distance and still send back information. These space probes were built in a time when technology was nowhere near what we have today. Yet, they have managed to last nearly 50 years sending back information about planets and space phenomena that were once beyond our reach. The durability and continued functionality of these instruments are not just a technical success. They are a reminder of what careful planning and engineering can achieve. When Voyager 1 crossed into the vast emptiness of interstellar space, it had provided more data about the universe than scientists could have ever hoped for. However, in 2022, this flow of data took a strange turn when Voyager 1 started sending back information that was confusing and unclear. The signals, which some experts humorously described as funky, were nothing more than chaotic strings of zeros and ones, making no sense to anyone. This unexpected twist prompted a flurry of theories from the scientific community. Some scientists suggested that Voyager 1, after decades of service, might simply be malfunctioning due to its age. Others, more inclined towards fantastical explanations, speculated about the possibility of aliens interfering with the spacecraft, perhaps even trying to communicate in a riddle digital code. Voyager 1's mission faced its toughest challenges yet, rescuing the Voyager's lost voice. In the middle of some difficult problems, NASA's team was dealing with a tricky technical error. Suzanne Dodd, the manager of the Voyager project, told the media that the data coming from Voyager 1 was acting weirdly, showing either no data or random numbers like 300 or 77. She explained that if Voyager 1 was in big trouble, they would have seen worse signals, which hadn't happened yet. To fix the issue, NASA's engineers decided on a two-step plan to diagnose the problem. First, they needed to figure out what was wrong, which would help them decide whether to just reset some parts of the spacecraft or replace them. This was a big challenge because, unlike Voyager 2, which was working fine, Voyager 1 had unique problems that made things more complicated. After a lot of research and meetings, NASA identified the problem as the Attitude Articulation and Control System AACS. This important system, which keeps the spacecraft pointing the right way in space, wasn't working right. Oddly, the computer that ran this system, which had been turned off for years, had started up on its own and was messing up the data. The fix seemed simple, but was actually tough to do. They needed to switch the data handling to a computer that was still working properly. This fix wasn't easy because it required careful technical changes and tuning to make sure Voyager 1 could keep going on its mission without more issues. As the team worked hard to fix these problems, 
The story of Voyager 1 taught a big lesson about the challenges of exploring space. Even with advanced technology and careful planning, space missions can face unexpected problems from even the smallest parts. Each small issue can cause big problems, possibly messing up years of scientific work. The effort to repair Voyager 1 also showed the determination and cleverness of NASA's scientists and engineers. Faced with a tough and unusual problem, they used their skills and creativity to make sure the spacecraft could keep on its historic journey. This episode reminds us that exploring new places requires not just bravery, but also a deep dedication to solving the problems we find along the way. Now imagine NASA's flight data system as a crucial link, like a bridge, connecting Earth to our space probes, meant to send important data back to us. However, it turned out that this key system wasn't as dependable as everyone thought. NASA engineers discovered that about 3% of the FDS's memory was faulty. This small flaw had big impacts. Because of this issue, the data from Voyager 1, one of our important space explorers, was at risk of being misunderstood, like trying to read a book with missing pages. This mess threatened to leave us clueless about the discoveries of Voyager 1. The need to fix this was urgent. The team at NASA, known for their advanced work, felt the pressure intensely. But the solution was not straightforward. Imagine the challenge. They had to comb through massive amounts of complex data, looking for clues that could help them correct the error. Here's where things got really hard. The technology on Voyager 1 was from the 1970s. That's decades old. Many of the people who built and understood this technology are no longer working. This left the current NASA experts with a daunting task. They had to bridge a vast gap in technology, using modern knowledge to fix outdated equipment. Moreover, the distance between Earth and Voyager 1 added another layer of difficulty. Voyager 1 is billions of kilometers away in space. Fixing a problem from such a distance is like trying to perform a delicate surgery with long, unwieldy tools. With the clock ticking, NASA's engineers had to be more creative and determined than ever. They had to think outside the box, finding new methods to restore the broken communication with Voyager 1. Every step had to be carefully planned and executed with precision, given the enormity of the distance and the aging technology. This task was not just about technical skill. It was about maintaining the thread that connects humanity to its distant robotic emissaries in space. The engineers were not only fixing a spacecraft, but also preserving a key source of cosmic knowledge. The efforts required a combination of deep understanding, innovative thinking, and a relentless commitment to keep the channel open between Earth and the edges of our solar system. The pressure was immense, the task daunting, and the stakes incredibly high. For NASA's team, this was more than a technical fix. It was a battle against time and the unknown to keep the windows to the universe open. Late at night, NASA engineers devised a plan that seemed almost like guesswork, attempting to fix a problem in Voyager 1's system by sending a series of commands. It felt akin to blindly guessing a password, hoping one would finally work. The engineers' hopeful attitude was admirable but seemed slightly naive. They aimed to cleverly sidestep the damaged parts of the spacecraft's memory by redirecting its functions, a daring strategy with the clear risk of making things worse. The team studied the spacecraft's flight data system in depth, trying to get it to use parts of its memory that were still intact. The risks were significant, as any mistake could permanently damage the spacecraft's already old memory system. It was a risky gamble, reliant on the durability of technology designed many decades ago and operating far from Earth. The delay in communication added to the challenge. Each command took a full day to reach Voyager 1 and another day for the response to travel back to Earth. Despite its age, Voyager 1 was more than just a machine. It represented humanity's ambition to explore the unknown. Motivated by Voyager 1's role as a pioneer in space, NASA was determined to overcome the technology's limitations. After months of intense and meticulous work, the team, perhaps too optimistically called the 21st century Einsteins, managed to get the spacecraft working properly again. By April 2024, 
it was reported that Voyager 1 was functioning well and sending accurate data back to Earth, much to the relief of everyone involved. However, this success did not eliminate the ongoing doubts about the spacecraft's future. The solution was temporary, and the possibility of more severe problems persisted, overshadowing the mission. There were concerns about the lifespan of other important components, like the magnetometer, and fears that the spacecraft might eventually stop responding altogether. The riddle of what caused the initial problem led to various theories, from simple technical issues to more sensational ideas about alien interference. With no cameras on board, it's impossible to see or understand the exact conditions Voyager 1 faces, leaving many questions unanswered. This makes it difficult to fully trust the data being sent back. Is it accurate, or are we just receiving signals from a spacecraft barely managing to operate? These ongoing issues have led some to question how long the Voyager mission can continue. Both Voyager spacecraft are much older than originally planned, operating on what seems to be sheer resilience. Suzanne Dodd, the project manager, has noted that such problems are to be expected, yet they highlight the reality that the spacecraft might not last much longer. As we ponder the future of the Voyager mission, is the cost of maintaining these aging spacecraft justified by the discoveries they might still offer? If you found this discussion intriguing, don't forget to like, leave your comments below, and subscribe for more.